Isn't that Colonel Lawrence's house? He was the hero of Ramsgate, wasn't he? Did you change the door codes? No. Never mind. You probably don't know how. Are you guessing him his porridge? No. I'm turning the alarm system back on, which someone left off. You want some downer to walk in and take all our reserves? Why don't you tell the whole bloody neighbourhood we've got reserves? Oh, yes. You must tell me about your wonderful reserves. I'm just saying, we might need to recruit. Don't worry, I turned the alarm back on. It's your turn, you know. He's your dad. That's hardly my fault, is it? I made the porridge. The least you can do is bring it up to him. It wasn't my idea for him to live with us. As I recall, you wanted him to move out. It was a decent thing for him to do. Make way for the new generation. How can they talk about him like that? He was a war hero in two wars. Bet they didn't even fight. What lovely people. Remind me never to have kids. Well, it's not terribly likely anyway, is it? There's no such things as ghosts. There is no such thing as ghosts. Don't get shirty with me. Guard duty again.
I wouldn't say that around the Sarge. Oh. Just relax. Don't question it. Gives you a sense. I can't of run with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. <gasps> this won't hurt a bit. Was that yours? You're not Regina, and you're not my son-in-law. And he isn't the stones to have me drowned in a cask of Malmsey. <laughs> so you're a burglar? Uh, I'm from this city. We're, uh, tracking a problem in the motorline pipes. Well, you're a rotten liar. <laughs> the city stopped taking care of the pipes years ago. I notice you're not screaming for help, though, sir. Have you met my daughter? <laughs> Frankly, I'd rather give my stuff to a burglar. <laughs> They don't tell you how rotten they can turn out. I trained grown men to make their beds and run into machine guns. Kids will break your heart every goddamn day. Thanks for the warning, sir. Does your father know what sort of lad you are? I'm afraid he may have suspected, sir. So you've got regrets. <laughs> Good. Kids downstairs, any time they start to regret, they pop a joy. Look, take whatever you want. But my brother Edward, haven't seen much of each other these past few years. I'd appreciate it if you'd go tell him I'm... I'm sorry. He'll know what it means. He's on Monmouth Road, number 22. <sighs> it used to be the most wonderful cheese shop on the corner. I'll be sure to pass along the message, sir. Hello? Hello? Captain Lawrence? I've got a message for you, sir. Captain Lawrence, sir? The power's out. Which means the house is basically unsecured.
That's not a good sign. Blimey. Dog. They were fighting over a dog. Thanks of a grateful nation. Give it to me. Simon says, give it to me. How'd you get in? That's better. You gave me a fright before. Just relax. Don't question it. I did get one of them. At Ramsgate. Pretty sure I did. Your brother. I'm afraid I'll, I've been to his house. So I was too late. How? Goodness gracious! An accident. With a bookcase. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. What's the use? I meant to talk to him sooner. My God! I wrote this him so many letters. Maybe I should have sent them. No, oh, sir. Thank you, sir. I... Uh, I don't suppose you found a footlocker there? A footlocker? No. 
I left a footlocker in his house. I'd rather you have it. That's very kind of you. Uh, where is it? Regret. It's what makes us human, son. Don't forget that. No, oh, sir. Thank you, sir. I think this might fit, actually. I'd need the trousers. I wonder if the pub's open yet. You are. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? I hope you all enjoyed yourself immensely. There's supposed to be a footlocker somewhere around here.
Uh, hello? Anyone out there? This is Central. Watch your report, over. Uh, who is this? This is Central. Who's this? Are you with the Resistance? N no, no, well, uh, I suppose I, I sort of am, a bit. Y yes, I I'm definitely with the Resistance. Are you the new recruit? Y yeah, yeah, I, uh, uh, not that long ago, feels like a while though, uh, they call me Striker. Are you ready for a mission? Where are you? We need you to rescue Peachy Carnahan. He was captured trying to infiltrate the secret lair of the evil Dr. Verloc. Oh God, it's that loony in the treehouse. I'm talking to Johnny Bolton, aren't I? This is the Special Operations Executive. The lad with all the dolls? If you're not in the Resistance, get off this channel! <sighs> so much for the Resistance. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? If you won't play, I won't play. You bet! Now I can join the army. As an officer, no less. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Well, you've made your bed, Arthur, haven't you? First you've come from Mr. Nigel Plaskett of the Barton. Dear Uncle Jack, I love your show. I love your show and humour hours nicely. Down, oi! This place is for people what dress like normal people. Take your joy immediately. Morning. How can I help you?
We're expecting a new shipment. Any day now, so do check back in a day or two. Have you got the statue? Oh, splendid. Sarah will be thrilled. Here, oh, I think you'll like this. You certainly know how to handle yourself, don't you? Do you think you could take care of one more delicate matter? I'll make it worth your while. I suppose I could. The ploughboys have been giving me trouble. Want me to pay them for not breaking anything. Normally I rely on the constable, but he thinks he might be called away tomorrow. Could you help, you know, keep the peace? I'll need you here when I open the shop in the morning. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Right as rain, right as rain. Well, that was... scenic.
Righto. Right as rain. Right as rain. If it wasn't for the war, I bet he could have been a great scientist. You don't have to chit-chat to be a scientist. Only making it harder on yourself. 